What's up guys, Admiral Styles here. So for this video we have a viewer request, they wanted to see the Defiant battle the USS Enterprise A Dominion War refit. So I'm getting the Defiant out of the way first, since, well the Defiant's perspective first, since we know this is going to be a slaughter, and there you go. Our quantum torpedo salvo disabled the Enterprise. It only makes sense, I mean quantum torpedoes are very powerful. Now even the best shields in the Dominion War era had trouble with quantum torpedoes. But yeah, this is uh basically over. Their hull is severely damaged, sir. And it's officially over. Alright, I do have the damage set to medium, so you won't see dispersion. Alright, so I'm now in command of the Enterprise. Let's see if we can win against the Defiant. Their initial vol is going to be the deadliest since the AI doesn't separate torpedoes. So they'll be... Oh my goodness. <laughs> we just lost 75% of our hull integrity. We've lost warp drive. Uh, wow. So like I said earlier, I have damage set to medium, so there's not going to be much like fragmentation of the ship. Otherwise, Danacel would have disappeared by now. Ah, the Defiance Plate of Armor is holding. I think I saw a hole breach on it. And yeah, if the uh, AI were to separate their plants and torpedoes, this battle will be over already. Yeah, like when they fired that, that, uh, those two torpedoes. See, on this particular model of the Defiant, the torpedoes are not, uh, like the ones in BC Remastered, where in BC Remastered, the Defiant is actually only firing one, but the model for the Quantum Torpedoes looks like two torpedoes. That's just how you have to do it in Bridge Commander, since the engine doesn't allow for high accuracy when you fire more than one torpedo simultaneously. But alright, let's see if the Defiant can win anyway with just pulse phasers basically. Wow, they actually hit us with quantum torpedoes. It wasn't a direct hit though, but our port shield is down now. Ah, we finally got through their ablative armor. Yeah, it's only a matter of time at this point before we win. I'm declaring this one in our favor. Ah, uh, and the uh, Warp Plasma <laughs> venting. I always love seeing Warp Plasma come out of nacelles. There's a few instances in the show where you see this. Like uh, Voyager, when it battled the Borg Tactical Cube, that should have vaporized it, but that's something for another day. But yeah, uh, when I got hit on the port nacelle, I believe, it started venting plasma, that was pretty cool. Nice. Alright, a victory for the Enterprise A. Very cool. That was a lot of fun. So at the beginning, when we got wrecked by the Defiance initial salvo, I actually thought uh, that would have been the beginning of our end, but apparently not. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any bad requests, drop it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Styles out.